One of my favorite exchanges took place with conspiracist Roger Stone on Twitter, who was trying to convince me to buy his new book, proving that LBJ did it. Uh, look, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I am a hard-bitten political realist. Conspiracists have justly earned their negative reputation, and it is understandable why Stone would want to distance himself from them. But this misdirection can't change the facts. He is as he does. I had the opportunity to spend a substantial amount of time uh, with President Richard Nixon to ask him uh, about his views. He is recorded on the White House tapes, the Watergate tapes, as saying the Warren Commission was the greatest hoax ever perpetrated. You say Nixon verified this in the Watergate tapes? Nixon says in the Watergate tapes that the Warren Commission is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated. Stone is taking that recording out of context and twisting it into something very different from what was actually said. The conversation in question took place on May 15, 1972, after a mentally ill attention seeker named Arthur Bremer attempted to assassinate segregationist Alabama governor George Wallace at a presidential campaign stop. Nixon was upset that in the confused hours that followed President Kennedy's shooting, a false narrative was created that blamed the radical right, and he hoped this time the left wing could take the blame. Look, when we play the game with this Mark Virginia, they have pinned the assassination of Kennedy on the right wing, the virtues. It was done by a communist, and it was the greatest hoax that has ever been perpetuated. Can I respectfully suggest, can we pin this on one of theirs? The Warren Commission is never named by President Nixon, or even implied. He is talking about the media, who jumped to the easy conclusion that the right wing, the Birchers, had shot President Kennedy. Nixon clearly agreed with the findings of the Warren Commission. It was done by a communist. The hoax he is talking about was the idea that the radical right was secretly behind Kennedy's death. Thank you for joining us. Joining me today is Roger Stone, a man who's got over 40 years experience in inside the Beltway politics. Roger Stone may have better credentials than most of his fellow conspiracists, but that doesn't make his lies any more believable. Most of his talking points are just recycled garbage. So now, Spectre is forced to invent the so-called single bullet theory, which would be the first time in the history of the world that a bullet has actually changed directions yeah. three times. Three times. And remained pristine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very little damage on this bullet that went through, you know, a wrist, ribs, throat, you know, all of this. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's insane.